Hello again, it's Mr. RT Stuff here. Now I'm in the workshop again with my stepper motor turntable, the one that I've built over the last few months. Um, it does different speeds and I've mainly demonstrated it at the 78 and the 45 RPM speeds because they're the most useful to me. But I also programmed it so it would also do 33 and a third. And uh, a very good friend of mine commented that in my previous videos where I was clearly unhappy with the sound of the 33 and a third speed, that it was quite difficult to tell what was wrong with it because I didn't do a comparison between uh, this turntable and uh, something else. So as you can probably see what I've got set up on the bench today is um, a sort of standard Crosley style. Well this is actually an Ion brand but it's the same sort of mechanism and um, my own homemade stepper motor uh, turntable and uh, I've got a tone arm there which is sort of movable. So what I'm going to do is record um, the same record or bits of the same record on both turntables using the same uh, tone arm and the same sound system and actually then just splice the uh, sound from the different recordings together so that you can hear uh, which one is better and if indeed there is really any difference at all. Now if you're wondering if the heights of the turntable are going to make any difference I've just put the spirit level on there so you can see that the bubble is pretty much in the middle. Um, so what I've done is I've just blocked up the ion turntable using wooden card so that uh, it's at the same height as my own homemade one. Well, the uh, sound quality from both was pretty ropey um, and uh, the uh, tracking angle of the tone arm uh, was really not ideal either. That's something um, I need to investigate uh, quite a bit more. I've not uh, experimented much with tracking angle in the past. Anyway, I hope though that it's uh, clear that the homemade stepper uh, turntable does actually have considerably more wow and flutter than the uh, ion turntable. So um, there definitely is a problem there and I don't think I can easily get rid of it but uh, at 78 speed and at 45 speed it's not so bad and uh, I think I'll probably use this mainly for 78 in the future. Okay well that's it for now thanks for watching and if you have enjoyed this video please subscribe to Mr. RG Stuff.